Seattle, Washington right now. I came to A Camp because some of my friends recommended to me when I started coming out as a genderqueer individual. I read some of the posts from Auto Straddle and it seemed like the most trans friendly place that there is on the internet. And I was really scared of coming here as a male bodied, male seeming individual. But I've had a terrific experience where the initial fear of people not understanding me or people giving me the stink eye all dissipated and everybody's really friendly and I've just made friends with everybody from every kind of life and I think I know the names of 90% of the campers here and it's just been great and it's, it's been a really incredible experience just being able to be myself and be free to express myself if I want to. You said you're from Seattle? I am from Seattle, which is a very queer-friendly space and very trans-friendly space, too. Washington State is really trans-friendly, and Seattle especially. Uh, we had the first trans pride parade in, like, 11 years this year, and that was really incredible to see so many trans, I think, how is it, how's the community different from Seattle from here? This is a congregation of so many queer women type people that I don't really see in Seattle that a lot of times communities become insular and clicky and then they become set in stone and then there are standards for a camp doesn't really have that. A camp has people who like people and are different. And it, through those shared experiences, you create a magical experience. No, I shouldn't have said experience twice in the same time. Through those shared experiences, people make something magical. And is this your first time or second time? Third? This is my first time. And I know for certain that I'm going to be coming back. And just the staffers that are running this place that work for Auto Straddle are just so friendly. And there's just regular people with problems that they talk about. And there's just so many feelings from all of them. And I kind of want to help the community. So I'm, gonna, I'm asking them today how I can give back to the community because that's what I think everyone should do. In what ways do you want to give back to the community? I think that I have an experience that is different from most of the people at this camp. I'm male assigned at birth, which is a far minority at this camp. I participated in the strip spelling bee because I wanted to show that this there are people who are not like everybody else, even at a place where everyone is different from the default world. There's people within this place that are very different, and I kind of wanted to show that. Um, and that's that's an experience I want to share with the community and whomever. And what's your favorite aspects of A Camp so far? I love getting hugs and giving hugs and being able to just say hi to everybody at breakfast, lunch, walking around, and just meeting people, and everybody's great, and uh, everybody is really respectful and asks for personal gender pronouns and identity, and nobody makes weird assumptions about anybody, really. It's just everybody comes here as a blank slate, and everybody opens themselves up, like opens up their heart and opens up their arms and then gives hugs, and it's just it's super nice, and that connection is not something I get anywhere. And from the panels, the different activities, which one of those have you really enjoyed? The most influential panel for me was the How to Be Alone panel. It was, being alone is a problem I have. I got out of a long relationship and then was just sort of living on my own for the first time. And then I had to figure out life for myself. And the How to Be Alone panel showed me that there are a lot of people who have this problem of not being able to just be by themselves and then they just, people who turn to their phones like myself or 
you know, I start overanalyzing things. And yesterday I was having, you know, a down moment. I don't, it was just like, you know, I just got into a funk. And then I went off in the woods and I just sat down and tried to look at trees and tried to like clear my head. But I kept like, oh my God, I need to clear my head. No, wait, why am I not clearing my head? Just stop thinking. And then I saw some birds in the trees and then I felt inspired to write a poem. And that's something that I thought about from the, that's something I learned from the How to Be Alone workshop. And then I wrote a poem and then I felt better. It sounds so weird to say, but it actually worked. So that's, it's, it, this place has given me tools to survive. That's cool. What other things did they talk about in the How to Be Alone panel? It was very focused on that it's okay to be alone, and that it's okay to be by yourself, and that giving yourself that time and space is a beautiful thing reflection and creativity and growing as a person by yourself. That you don't need people. You can just be your own person with yourself. Is there anything else you want to share about A Camp and your experience here? Probably. that there's no judgment, there's only encouragement, or maybe the first day is full of assumptions, but then everything gets eradicated once you meet cabin mates and meet some of the people around you. Every day I've had to, you know, make some time for myself, or, you know, I get, uh, like, something somebody says is triggering, and I kind of just have to, like, go away, or I can't, like, listen to something, because it brings something up, and that's hard, but nobody judges me for it. And when I come back and I say, like, hey, I'm having a hard time, people are like, oh, hey, that's okay. Let's, you know, like, come hang out. Uh, the first day I almost went home. I almost, like, called a cab and just, like, left. But then I talked to some people and they're like, let's, let's just go hang out. Let's, let's, let's figure stuff out. Let's go meet people. Let's just do something. And it's been so great. And... I was freaked out taking off all my clothes to a room full of 200 lesbians. And then it was amazing, and everybody cheered me on, and I feel like I'm on top of the world. Do you feel like there's a transformation from when you first came to now? Definitely. If nothing else, yesterday was national, coming out day, October 10, or was it 11, I don't remember. And I've been struggling to figure out how am I going to come out to my family, to my friends, to my workplace, to the world. And it's something I've wanted to do. And I just got so much positive energy and so much encouragement from everybody. Not people telling me, like, yeah, you should go come out. But somebody just, like, said, hey, it's National Coming Out Day. And I was like, I feel great. This is who I am. I need to tell everyone this. And so I sent an email. And now I'm out to the world. And I just... I feel like myself, and that's different than when I came here. How's that going to feel um, going back, back to Seattle? Back oh, to I'm terrified. But I know it's going to be for the best, and it's going to be kind of freaky, but that's okay, because I'll take it one day at a time. And I know that I have lots of people to support me back in Seattle, and now I have hundreds of friends that I'm going to keep in touch with, because there are so many amazing people here. And any, anything else you want to share? Um, O'Doyle rules? <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much.